Calgary, Derek Fildebrand, interim leader of the nascent Freedom Conservative Party of Alberta, says the new political vehicle rejects the status quo relationship between Alberta and the federal government. Bill DeBrand, flanked by interim party president Bob Lafergie during a news conference Friday inside a Northeast Calgary hotel, said the FCP would demand the immediate repatriation of all powers previous Alberta governments had ceded to Ottawa. Derek Fildebrandt, interim leader of the Freedom Conservative Party of Alberta, speaks to reporters Friday about the creation of the new political party. Trevor Howell, Star Metro, we will take back direct control over the CPP, a tax collection, the Firearms Act and immigration, said the Strathmore Brooks MLA. We will demand a referendum to renegotiate Alberta's constitutional relationship with the federal government to keep more of our money and decision-making here in Alberta. And away from Ottawa, Lafergy kicked off the press conference quoting Alwyn Bramley Moore, a liberal MLA with separatist leanings who served a single term in the Alberta legislature from 1909 to 1913, article continued below, Alberta first, last, and forever. Lafergy said, later clarifying he views himself less as a separatist and more as an Alberta patriot, a term mentioned at least a dozen times during the 39-minute news conference. Fildebrandt broadly defined an Alberta patriot as someone who wants a stronger Alberta with less Ottawa. He said the party would only run candidates where the NDP is not competitive, namely the vast majority of rural and small town constituencies, to avoid vote splitting with the United Conservative Party in the 2019 election. I think the best possible outcome is the complete obliteration of the NDP, he said, hinting the FCP would be willing to work with the UCP minority government to create the most conservative in Alberta first government possible. Read more. Derek Fildebrandt says UCP MLAs are whipped into voting against their beliefs, so he's starting his own party trump card. Can he seize advantage to new members' history with U.S.? President article continued Bella Wup nominee drama a sign of larger candidate vetting problem in politics, MRU per Phil Debrand left the UCP last year after he was accused of renting his taxpayer-funded apartment on Airbnb. He was later barred from returning to the party after he was found guilty in a hit-and-run incident and, separately, pleaded guilty to illegally shooting a deer on private land. He took aim at Prime Minister Justin Trudeau over his failed handling of an influx of asylum seekers crossing into Canada from the United States. More than 30,000 people have crossed the Canada-U.S. border to seek refugee status since January 2017. I want us to take refugees. I want us to take immigrants, but I've got problems with how that system is being run. Fildebrandt said, inviting people to come here illegally is not what we should be doing, he said. The federal government should pay for that on their own. We shouldn't be putting a dime into it, and we should do everything we can to restrict any illegal migration to Alberta. Dwayne Bratt, a political science professor at Mount Royal University, said the FCP's mandate bears a striking resemblance to the infamous 2001 firewall letter, in which the likes of Stephen Harper and Ted Morton urged then-Alberta Premier Ralph Klein to opt out of national programs. Brad questioned Phil DeBrance, and the federal conservative party's stance on immigration as the number of people crossing the U.S.-Canada border spiked after Donald Trump's presidential victory in late 2016. Does Phil DeBrant plan on a separate Alberta border security force to monitor other provinces, as well? Or is this just shifting topics to, let's bash Trudeau? I don't think anyone is flowing across the border, said Brad. It's pretty tough. There's not a whole lot of people in Montana and there aren't a whole lot of minorities that feel threatened by the Trump administration in Montana that are fleeing. I don't know how that fits into an Alberta agenda, Alberta Environment and Parks Minister Shannon Phillips said it's essential to ensure Alberta has enough workers as the province's economy grows. We're an open, diverse, and inclusive society where we don't stoke fear and fan the flames of racism and xenophobia for political ends, said Phillips. She described the FCP's quasi-separatist agenda as outdated and one most Albertans would reject. Albertans are the youngest, best-educated population in Canada and we've moved on. We're not in the world of my father's federalism, said Phillips.
If he wants to peddle in separatist agenda like the Bloc Québécois, then I guess he's welcome to do it. Trevor Howell is an urban affairs reporter with Star Metro Calgary. Follow him on Twitter, 